Madam Speaker. First reading on the bill for an act entitled Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024. According to Standing Order 1341B, second reading on the Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024 can be moved immediately and I call upon the Minister for Finance and Treasury to proceed with the second reading motion and deliver your speech. Minister. Thank you, Madam Acting Speaker. Madam Acting Speaker, I move that the Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024 now be read the second time. Madam Deputy Speaker, President, Vice President, colleague ministers, and fellow members of this Honorable House, I rise before you today to present the 2024 supplementary budget. This budget is not just a fiscal document. It is a reflection of our strategic intent, our resilience, and our unwavering commitment to the development and prosperity of Bougainville as we progress towards independence. Madam Deputy Speaker, the primary aim of the supplementary budget is for essential financial adjustments and reallocations that address the evolving policy landscape and pressing needs of our people. It aims to realign and refine our existing commitments, particularly those linked to the Prime Minister's commitment to the Restoration and Development Grant, to ensure that our financial resources are utilized efficiently and transparently as per the resolution of the Joint Supervisory Body on the 8th of May 2024. The proposed supplementary budget before this House seeks authorization for an expenditure of 776,290,100 kina, exhibiting an increase of 15,103,500 kina from the original 2024 ABG budget of 761,186,600 kina. This budget adjustment is a response to, one, the merging of the Prime Minister's commitment into the annual RDG and the retirement of RDG areas in line with the JSB resolution of May 8, 2024. Two, Realignment and reprioritization of the Prime Minister's commitment to the RDG. Three, the need to address certain omissions and allocations from previous fiscal years, 2020 to 2023, which were not adequately captured. Madam Deputy Speaker, our journey towards independence is shaped by our economic ability stability and governance. The ABG faces multifaceted challenges that demand our immediate and strategic response. Our reliance on the PNG national government for annual fiscal grants, particularly the constitutionally guaranteed RDG, established in the 2001 Bowenville Peace Agreement has, present, has presented both opportunities and obstacles. Despite the national government's commitment to annually fund the Prime Minister's commitment and the RDG areas, each with 100 million, the RDG annual, as recommended by the UN-sponsored expert, has not received the necessary funding. Consequently, the outstanding RDG balances have accumulated to 686 million kina. The JSB meeting in May 2024 resolved, based on the ABG's position on financial matters, for the Prime Minister's commitment to the Autonomous Region of Bougainville to be discontinued in 2024 onwards and that the funds be allocated towards retiring the RDG outstandings. The change in policy landscape through this JSB decision necessitated the current realignment to integrate the PM's commitment into our RDG. Madam Deputy Speaker, based on the May JSB resolutions, the RDG annual, formerly the Prime Minister's commitment 
and RDG RES has been allocated key sectors vital to our socio-economic development and independence readiness as follows. Restoration and Development Grant, the RDG annual. This is the uh, grant known as the PM's commitment, now converted to RDG. The Government Public Service and Independence Readiness has been allocated 20.8 million that's comprising 21%. Law and justice sector, half a million, comprising 1%. Health and education sector, 12.4 million, comprising 13%. Infrastructure sector, 56 million, comprising 58%. Economic sector, 4.7 million, comprising 5%. And social sector, 1.4 million, comprising 2% giving a total of 95.9 million kina. The RDG that we have brought forward as uh, outstanding, headquarters allocation is 59.3 million, comprising 56%, and regional allocations comprising 44.8 million, comprising 43% bringing the total to 104.1 million. Madam Deputy Speaker, besides the realignment and reprioritization of the Prime Minister's commitment to the Restoration and Development Grant, this supplementary budget also accommodates for a 15 million in cash balances for 2023, 2023 RDG balances and 2022 PIP balances that were omitted during the preparation stage due to process flows and while commitments were going through when the budget formulation was in progress or in the process, thus the balances were not considered. They are as follows. <clears throat> Number one, 2023 RDG balances. Madam Deputy Speaker, the 2023 RDG balances are increased by a total of 6 million from 51 million to 57 million as per Schedule 1 of the Supplementary Appropriation Bill. Two, 2022 Public Investment Program, PIP balances. An increase in the 2022 PIP balances by a total of 11 million due to inclusion of unspent cash balances for the following projects. Teroki Health Center Rehabilitation, 2.9 million. Bougainville Coco Program, 2.7 million. Multipurpose Sports Stadium, 4 million. Sierra Koropovi Road Upgrade, 1.4 million, bringing a total of 11.1 million. Three, ABG Miscellaneous. Madam Deputy Speaker, the ABG Miscellaneous has been reduced by a total of 2, 2 million from 15 million down to 12.9 million to correct the overstated amount in the 2024 ABG budget for which funds were spent but are still reflected in the budget. Madam Deputy Speaker, the implementation of the supplementary budget will commence in July 2024 under the direction of the Secretary for Finance. Our approach will ensure that all projects and allocations are managed with the utmost transparency, accountability and efficiency adhering to higher standards of governance. The Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024 authorizes the expenditure of 776 million, of which 200 million is specifically rescoped or reallocated for critical development programs. This bill is crucial for ensuring that our fiscal policies are in sync with our development goals and responsive to the needs of our people. Madam Deputy Speaker, the ABG operates within the constitutional and legal frameworks that empower us to respond to prevailing conditions and emergencies. emergencies. <clears throat> the, resco the rescoping of identified programs under the supplementary budget is in full compliance with the Autonomous Region of Bougainville Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024 and relevant financial management laws.
Madam Deputy Speaker, the supplementary budget is evidence of our commitment to the development and prosperity of Bougainville. It reflects our strategic priorities, our adaptability in the face of changing conditions, and our unwavering resolve in achieving independence. I recommend to this Honorable House to approve the 2024 ABG supplementary budget and the associated financial realignments. Your continued support and collaboration is vital for the joint and successful implementation of these measures, which are crucial for the continued progress and future of Bougainville. With these few remarks, I now commend the 2024 supplementary budget to this Honorable House. Thank you, Madam.